let's do some video analysis, physics video analysis for Simone Biles. Uh, now, I see this image around a lot, and I was like, I don't really know, right? This says, Simone Biles jumps 12 feet high. And I'm like, well, we could figure that out. We could test it. Uh, so let's do the calculations and the video analysis on Simone Biles on one of her uh, floor passes, the triple-double, which is her move. Uh, so let's just jump right into it and do a video analysis. I'm going to go through all the details and track her, and it may or may not work, and then we'll see what happens. Um, so let's get started with it. And this was an image uh, that I found on, on social media that it, it came up in a lot of different places, 12 feet. And I saw 12.3 and so forth like that. But let's just calculate it based on a, on a jump. Now, video analysis, jump to video analysis. Um, you know, I had another video that I wanted to use. Here is one that uh, I found uh, from a practice. Now, when you want to do a video analysis, there's a couple things that you want. Number one, um, it, you have to have something in the frame that you can reference for size. I'm going to use Simone Biles herself. She's 1.4 meters tall. That's not very tall, but that's what she is. Okay, so we can use that uh, to scale the video. The other thing is you don't want the camera to move around. If it does, you want to have some type of reference points. I had uh, her performance in one of the Olympic events, and it, it was... I tried it just beforehand to see if it would work, and it was just weird. So I, I found this other video of a practice run, um, and let's just scroll through and see what it looks like. So here she goes. Uh, there's a jump, and you'll notice that um, the camera's pretty far away. So even though she's moving away from us, uh, our vertical position, we can still look at the vertical position. It should be just fine. Um, and then, and I assume this is in real time, even though I'm scrolling through it. And then there she lands. And look right here, she's standing there. There's two things. One, you could look at the, the floor, that mat, right? That's a standard size mat. I don't even know what mat that is, but I'm going to measure the length of the mat. Um, I'm just going to measure her and use that to scale the video. But I should be able to just in that one little pass uh, get it, right? And I can get her time that she's in the air, and that's the number one thing we're going to get. And the number two, look at her motion. Okay, so here's the rest of the video. See, this one is not that great um, because look how much the camera moves. Where, where are you going to reference, what point are you going to reference to mark the, the coordinate system? Uh, it's a great video. Don't give me that. That's for sure. Uh, here's another one. Let's look at this one. This one's not too bad. You can get a nice side view. But again, the camera moves up so much, you're going to have to pick some reference point back here on this thing. And that is not in the same frame that she's in. So you're going to get some parallax issues, and that's an issue right there. Okay, so that one's not too bad. Here's another one. Let's just check this out. I haven't even looked at these. That one's not too bad. I kind of like this one, right? Because you could use, uh, actually, let me make this a little bit smaller so you can see it. Look at this point down here on the on the corner of the mat. I mean, that's something that you could use as a coordinate system reference point. So I'm going to use that first one, but that, this is a, a vi this shows a bunch of different stuff. So well, that's a good one too. Okay, let's just get to it. So I've already loaded the video in tracker video analysis, uh, and and I'm going to just go ahead and start. You can do a bunch of things here, but number one, I'm going to move this reference frame. I don't, I don't really want the stuff before the jump. So I'm going to start right here. Let's do right there, just to make it easier, right there. Uh, that's my starting point. And you'll notice that is frame 65. So up here, I click on this. Tracker video is a free video analysis program. I'm going to click the start frame right there. This says the frame rate is 30 frames per second. That's what uh, the video thinks it is. It may be something different, but that's what the video thinks it is. And I, I think it's probably correct. Okay. So now what we want to do is, let's look at that one more time. I, I like to uh, scroll in the... Uh, an actual video to think about what do I need to what do I need to do during this to the to the motion I don't think the camera really pans or zooms really zoom is the one I'm, I want it does not zoom until right there right so that's a zoom so if I if I just move the location of the coordinate system that's going to be fine I don't have to use anything weird like uh, calibration point pair so that's good so let's just scoot up to the end up here And I'm going to wait till she lands. Oh, I'm shaking the whole thing right there. Okay, and I want to see her stand up. 
1.4 meters. Let's wait till she salutes. She's going to take, she's still moving. I want her full height. That looks good right there. Okay, 1.4 meters. So let's go ahead and use that to scale the system. So I'm going to go up here. If you need to move the coordinate system, you can. I do, I do need to uh, adjust the coordinate system. I'm going to adjust the angle, to, uh, not have the angle fixed. I don't know if I need to change or not. So let's go ahead and put the coordinate system right at the corner right there. That looks nice. You see, and then the horizontals lined up with that mat, which may or not be true, but that's fine. Let's zoom in a little bit just so we can get uh, a better coordinate reference frame for Simone Biles calibration stick right there. I'm going to move this to the top. Now, this is not perfect, okay, because, you know, people, when they're 1.4 meters, 1.8, it doesn't really matter. It's really hard to, to get, it's not a consistent measurement when they're, the way they stand and stuff like that. So let's put this at 1.4 and it may be off and we'll have to be okay with that. Okay, so I think we're ready to go ahead and start marking the location of her center mass. And again, we're going to have to just estimate that. So I'm going to go back to the beginning, right here. And that's when she's leaving the ground. And I'm going to track new point mass. Now what I want to do is just kind of approximately click uh, at the center of her mass, which should be somewhere around her, her midsection right there. So I'm going to click click and you don't have to say oh you know what I didn't do I didn't move the coordinate system okay so let's do that let's zoom back out to fit and let's move this like I said right at the top corner now I'm going to go through each frame and make sure it's in that same corner and then I'll go back and and mark the location and I'm not doing a perfect job here. This is just a rough approximation. And you can see it's a little bit off, but I think, I think it's fine. Oops, let's go back. Move it a little bit. You can move it each frame, but it's not going to be a perfect video anyway. So I don't need to be really crazy about this. And, you know, you might think this is the boring part, but, you know, lots of parts of science and math are, are boring. It's not all zim-zam excitement, right? Although this can be exciting because you don't know what you're going to find out, right? Maybe maybe we're going to find out that Simone Biles is an artificially, uh, an AI-created image. That's not true. I'm just kidding. But maybe, maybe it's a fake video. It's not fake. Um, okay, almost there. It's not moving too much, so we should be good. Now, and the one thing, if you don't uncheck that, you know, let the coordinate system move, then every time you move it, it's going to keep that as this, the same location for all the other frames, and that's really going to mess things up. And she's landed. Okay, so now let's go back over here to the beginning. And you'll notice the coordinate system's right there. Okay, so I'm already on fr that frame that frame, that frame. Now I want to mark the next location. So I'm gonna go up here to, uh, it's already marked. Uh, I'm gonna skip one frame ahead and I'm gonna click on mass A and off click it. That way, I'm, that's what I have active right now. I don't want the coordinate system active. And I'm gonna just shift click, center mass, and, and as the best of my ability, the best of my ability. And we don't have too many frames because it's not, it's, it's such a quick motion, so 30 frames per second. Um, you know, this, this is, you know, a, a little over a second motion, so 30 clicks or so, it's not so bad. And she's going back around. And I'm really approximating the center mass right there. Okay, she's landed. Okay, uh, the first thing that I want to do is to use the time of flight to estimate the hang time. And so I'm going to do that on the video, but right here you see that we started at time zero and then the last time was 1.16. So 1.16 was her hang time. So let's use that time to calculate um, the time that she was in the air or how high she was, how high she was. Okay, so that's what we're going to do first. So let's go up to the board. What's that? 
1.167. Okay, 1.167. So I'm going to say uh, TH, the hang time, is 1.167 seconds. That's what I have. Now, let's say that I have an object and it's going to start with some initial velocity v1. It's going to go up in the air and it's going to land down here and it's going to have a final velocity v2. And I want to know if this is at y equals 0, then what's this up here, h, based on that time. So I have to use the kinematic equations. Um, and it's kind of tough, right, because here the initial y is 0, the final y is 0, and I don't know the initial velocity. So let's use the following trick. And I'm not going to prove this trick because you've probably seen it before. If I have, if I start up here, then the, at the highest point, the y velocity, vy0, is 0, right? Because it's falling down. And then I don't have to worry about the final velocity. But this time from here to there is th over 2. So it takes half the time to go down, half the time to go up. So with that, I can use the following kinematic equation. The final y is the initial y plus the initial y velocity times time minus one half g t squared, where t is the hang time. No, this is going to be t over the hang time over two, right? So really, I'm going to put right here hang time over t h over two squared. And then the initial y velocity is zero. The final y, the initial y position is h, and the final y is zero. So I have zero equals h minus one half g t h over two squared. Now if I square that, I get a four. So I can bring that out and I can write this as zero. I'll pull the h to the other side. h equals one half times one fourth g, the total hang time squared. So that's going to be 1 8 g t h squared. So we use the trick, okay? And just on that time, if I put in my time of 1.167 seconds, I can calculate the h. So let's do that. And I, I dropped my calculator. And let's see if I can reach it. Ah, okay. Well, darn it. Okay, I'll just use uh, Python over here. I'll just, use the, I'll just use the normal calculator. So I said uh, g 9.8 times half of uh, 1 eighth. So divided by 8. I'll just do times um, 1.167 squared. All of that divided by 8. I need to put this in parentheses. I should have got my calculator. Well, I twitched microphones and then... Um, you know, I just did something dumb. Okay. And I get 1.66 meters. And then if you convert that to feet, or 1.67, let's say. So let's do 1.67 meter in feet. And that's 5.47 feet. This is 7. 5. 0.47 feet, which I don't know if you know, but that is not 12 feet, and that's okay, because remember the picture was from the floor to the top of her head on that thing. So uh, let's just let's just approximate that, right? So if, if I have here's Simone Biles, this is for the center of mass. So I'm going from here to there, from center mass to center mass. I'm saying is 4.7. Eight feet, and so if she is four point uh, or four feet eight inches, is it? It's eight like that, right? Then uh, this center mass, let's say it's halfway, so that's two feet four, two feet four, uh, and then I'm going to add up another two. Well, I'm going to add up a whole. Uh, no matter where that center mass is, I'm going to add. I have this distance plus that distance, so I'm going to add. 4 feet 8 inches uh, to her. So this is going to be 4. And then 8 is going to be 8 over 12. Uh, if I add that together, what do I get? Okay, so um, what did I just say? 
5.47 plus 4 plus uh, 8 over 12. And I get 10.1. one, three feet. Okay, so again, not 12, but not bad. Oh, my microphone, I messed that up. I hope my, all my audio is not all messed up. If it is, I'm not gonna redo this. Sorry, you'll just hear muffled stuff. I'm, I told you I switched mics, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, and again, that was for the practice run, the Olympics, maybe that one was 12 feet, but I just didn't have a good video of it. Okay, let's go back to tracker video analysis and look at the vertical motion is a function of time and, and get see if we, what we get from that. Okay, so there's my calculations. Tracker video analysis, here we are. Okay, I'm going to right click on the Y motion and go to analyze. And then there you can see uh, it's not perfect. It's not, a, it's not a perfect parabola because I, I was marking different locations on our body, but still we can fit a quadratic function to this curve fitter parabola and I get, oh, that actually worked out pretty nice. So here I have an acceleration. So remember, one half g times t squared in the kinematic equation. So uh, the acceleration should be twice this number. So I have a vertical acceleration of 10.96. So Remember, I made some approximations about both where her center mass was, but more importantly, how big she was. And I think that's where my error is. If you get a scale that thing off a little bit, then you could be off a little bit too. But this is really good because from this, I get one, the hang time, and I get two. Uh, I feel very comfortable in that, in that fit. Uh, from this, I can now find the height. So you see right here, she started at a height of uh, 0.72 meters for the center mass and ended up at a highest point of, let's see, you can just, you can click on these values, I think. Let's see that one right there. That one is 2.66. So 2.66 minus 7.72, let's just do that. 2.66 minus 0 0.72, that's 1.94 meters, uh, 1.94, meters to feet. That one gives a little bit higher value. Remember, that's center of mass height. That is huge, 6.3 feet. And then if I add, uh, let's do 6.36, 6.36 plus 4 plus 8 out over 12. I get 11. So, um, yeah, she jumped high. Okay, I don't think she's fake. I think that's pretty good. There you go. That's it. Hope you enjoy that. I uh, hope the audio was okay. I'm not going to even go check it because, you know, I don't like to look back at myself. So uh, tracker video analysis. I'll put a link to the video I used below. I'll put a link to tracker video analysis if you've never used that before uh, and you want to play around with it. Hopefully that helps. Later.